That's, that's what it looks like. It came out pretty good, actually. And I was like, <laughs> so I couldn't get this thing really works. I'm going to patent it. Like I said, well, it's not all perfect here in uh, ST land. Quite a few things that Harley did on the bike that I'm not crazy about. One of them is actually leaving or actually, I don't know if it's leaving or purposely putting a chrome set of uh levers forward uh clutch and brake levers in chrome when the catalog pretty much has the same part in blackout i'm not sure why they do it maybe i don't know maybe to make us buy a set of black or so we can just customize this ourselves. we're gonna swap them out or do something with it so i have a great idea what i'm doing with this when i was cleaning up my garage the other day i came across an old set of these levers, of Harley levers that came off my 2020 electric light standard Blackbird. I actually saw it on one of the bikes, on a custom bike. I don't think it was an ST, but it was, you know, uh, a low rider that they put their own fairing on. So it gave me a great idea. If I have a spare part anyway, let's do some trial and error with it. How about creating the uniform combination of gunship gray and the bronze? So let's get into the old time wrenching and backyard garage. Last night, I painted this. Take a look. About three or four years ago when we started, John and I started YouTube. We did a lot of, you know, uh, motorcycle things, but we didn't do Harley stuff. And, and one of my first projects was actually a 1980 BMW R65 restoration. like. I bought an old $2,000 bike. It was in running condition, but was pretty bad total shape and did a whole a redo. I turned it into a bobber. It was cool. And we did a lot of stuff on it. Worked a lot. I did things by ourselves. And we literally did, you know, backyard, backyard uh, mechanics. We did a lot of painting and a lot of stuff like that. I miss those days of pure, you know, pure cheap wrenching because like we did stuff, it wasn't too expensive. And the parts, we didn't feel that like if we mess, it, mess up something, we're gonna ruin it and we're gone and non-recoverable. So what I'm gonna do now is pretty much reminds me of those days of taking apart, modding it, or like doing a little backyard wrenching, backyard mechanic over here. Give this a nice touch up with bronze, bronze color. So I ordered this uh, on Amazon bronze. Hopefully it's gonna be the same color as what I currently have on my bike on Grey Ghost and give these a new look and see you know what it looks like. Now I wasn't really sure if the ones that came off Blackbird, the touring models, the same handle, same levers as uh, what they have on the soft tail. I also compared it looks pretty much uh, the same size. So we're gonna paint these and then if they come out nice, we're gonna put them on Grey Ghost. Should be a nice touch. Just some paint thinner to get any oils, any grime, any dust and residue. So the paint, the spray paint sticks on and glues on and adheres onto it nicely. The secret is going slowly, slowly applying very thin layer. So nothing, you know, bunches up and glop of, of paint. So a lot of, a lot of coats, small thin coats makes it Now, if this thing really, if this thing really works, I'm going to patent it. I'm going to write a patent. That's what I got. And I have another idea where this is going. You'll see later. I'm going to let it wait for 10 minutes between coats, three coats. And I think after that, one heavy coat. So everything must be done within one hour. And yeah, I need reading glasses, but only one and a half. I bet you do too. Okay, let me hit it with the second one. Like I said, you don't want to put it on uh, layers that are too thin, uh, too thick. Thin layers. Ah, yeah. Let's see. Started the timer now. 
and I should be wearing a mask, yeah. I'm not inhaling. Ten minutes. Fourth coat, the last coat is supposed to come on wet and medium coat. But let me show you what it looks like now. And then we'll see, we'll see it on the bike itself later on. What do you say, Pico? Huh? Pico, what do you say? Good job? So this is what it looks like the next day. I think it came out really, really nice. The color match is very close. It's a bit lighter, a bit lighter than the stock uh, color that comes on the rims, but it's uh, difficult to get a perfect match. When it's gonna be here, hopefully it's gonna be better. First of all, I need to take that pin, that safety pin, I forgot what it's called, right there. I have a tool for it and take this out. Now the question is, will it pop out easily or I'll have to uh, loosen up these, this part? We'll see very soon. What? I'm unable to find that, that little piece, that little tool. It's like, uh, that has a two needle noses. And when you press on it, it actually opens up that pin. Just came back from Cycle Fanatics and he got the tool for me, snap-on tool. Gonna... So thank you, John. Thank you, Mr. Cycle Fanatics for, for, for providing that tool. I'm get a... gonna continue now. We gotta get like, that guy out. And apparently we also need to unbolt or take these out, Torx 25 or 27, so the whole thing moves and opens up the space over here. Oh, how easy. How easy when you have the proper tools. Guess what? They're not the same. They are totally not the same. So we're going to have to do a whole new session painting these <laughs> to be continued you see how it's not the same I'm gonna go ahead and take the other one off and uh paint these ones okay guys round two so guys i'm finished this is the outcome getting this one is was no problem i can tell you definitely with the cable clutch Getting this out, uh, I apologize that I wasn't able to get a close up like I usually do and to show you exactly how I did it. It was too like intensive and I was like, <laughs> so I couldn't get the camera right. It wasn't easy, it wasn't complicated, but it, it needed uh, quite amount of pulling this to be able to remove this. Anyway, you'll figure it out. Once you open it up, you'll figure it out. Let me show you what it looks like. I think it's a nice touch. That bronze look. That bronze accent along with the rims. 117. Right there. The pipes that are eventually going to be bronze, I would say. That's, that's what it looks like. It came out pretty good, actually. this pin as well maybe black that's easy to do or buy that's what it looks like Guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift till the next video, guys. Peace out.